Hi guys, welcome back to another quick uh, video. At least I'm going to try and make it a very quick uh, video. So I was going through uh, your comments and I noticed this comment by Okeke Dexter. He says thank you sir for whatever uh, well, the robot that we I showed him how to create. Please, how can I create a robot with ATR? I think this is average two, two range. Uh, take profit and average true range stop loss average true range take profit average true range stop loss so uh, i'll try and show you uh quickly uh probably how to do this uh unfortunately uh, i have never traded with the atr so i'm not sure about the values that uh, a person will use with uh, the atr you for example uh if you're using macd we know we have got a zero line in the middle where the macd crosses the that zero line we know it's a buy or it crosses that zero line we know it's uh, a sell then you have uh, things like rsi and stochastic we know we use uh, either a 30 or 20 level below bottom and an 80 or 70 level at the top if it crosses back from that uh, 30 or 20 level from from below we understand that we are going for a buy and when we have uh, a cross from the top crosses uh, our 70 or 80 level there we know it's a sell so i don't know if there are particular levels that are used with the atr the average true range uh, it's not a strategy that i've uh, ever used i uh, i don't know the atr but i'm going to try to just give you something that you can use to work with so i'll quickly go to uh, our favorite uh, free ea builder fx streamer then we go to builder this is uh, the robot that we created yesterday if you want to learn more about uh, that robot uh, just watch uh, the previous video after finishing watch on this one uh, let's delete by the way did i ask you about uh, subscribing if you are new on this channel please consider subscribing so that you don't miss any of our future videos uh, if you are also like other people who always ask me about the broker that i use see the links in the description box below with my broker you can open a real life trading account for just five dollars which you can use to test these robots that we're creating in real life market conditions and if the robot grows that five dollars then obviously you've got something good on your hands then definitely you can give that robot more money to trade with so see the links in the description box below okay so getting back to our robot here i don't know if he wants to just use atr for take profit and stop loss or is it an atr based robot then also use atr tp and atr sl uh, with uh, that robot uh, like i said i'm new to this atr uh, average true range i've never used it in any case but let me show you how you can probably set the uh, how you can tell the robot to close the your trades based on atr or uh, take profit or stop loss so probably let's say we have a buy um let's say we have a buy let's just this is just an example this is just an example it's not a full robot uh with atr it's there so atr period is 14 so i'm assuming maybe you use also um the values that will probably use either you use you need this to to cross the uh, the zero line i don't know uh, people who trade with atr or you use atr to to cross for a buy maybe you need it to cross uh value uh 30 i don't know i don't know about uh people who use atr and then uh for a sell 
let's say this will be a buy. Uh, this will be this will be a buy. And then uh, for a sell, you probably want the ATR. Uh, correct me in the comment section below. I don't understand uh, how to use the ATR. I've never used it. It's something that I've never used. Uh, I'm being honest. Uh, maybe you want it to cross a, a 30, uh, a 70 uh, level line for a sell. Uh, I'm just using theory, uh, but then this will give you an idea of what you probably need to do to to be able to to close these two trades let's just get rid of uh, that one so uh, that will probably be uh, uh, what we need for opening our buys and our sell uh, trades uh, there so how do we then close uh, the buy at TP I'm thinking at TP, we'll probably want the ATR. What you do first, of course, is to check once per bar. You want to check that. Double click. And we look for ATR. ATR we want for the buy we would want the ATR to show us this sell condition so the moment it crosses below value 70 then we know it's a condition for a sell so we want to close any buys that are open then we go and we say trading conditions uh, trading actions sorry and tra close trades and we link it like that double click in there and we are going to filter by type we are going to close buys and update then to close any sales we want the appearance of the uh, buy conditions so basically we'll do the same we, we can just copy this we copy it and we just paste it on the side like that then we're going to go in there double click condition and we want this to go above 30 given that these are the conditions that we set here and you update then double click go in here we are then going to say double click we are then going to close any cells because what has just happened here is a condition for a buy so we are going to close any cells so that should be how you you actually close uh, your trades at TP and stop loss I think it kind of uh, the same as well. Uh, stop loss. I, I'd rather you use uh, if you double click, double click. What's happening with my mouse? Yo yo yo. Okay. Uh, there's a stop loss mode that you can set here. Uh, I'd rather you use this stop loss that you can set on the buy or sell buttons is my opinion it's my opinion uh if you double click on the sell button there is going to be double click again i don't know what's happening with my mouse now i've got a windows uh mouse a windows gaming mouse on an imac i think sometimes uh the two do not communicate i don't know what's happening windows uh, and mac so that will be my my thinking on how to probably uh, do this uh, so yeah uh, unfortunately ATR is something that I have never traded with so I don't know exactly how the strategy would work uh, maybe if you're going to uh, expand more on the uh, use of the ATR guys I'll see you in the next one bye